far back as I can remember, great, great grandpa, great grandpa, grandpa, dad, um, we're all Army. Um, my sister is just recently went into the Navy after talking to my dad about it and everything, and no one's ever been in the Marines. A couple of my buddies went in, so I said, I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll do it. We got married uh, October 11th of 2008, so right before my first deployment. I was about three quarters of the way through my first deployment, going uh, just what we were doing is training Marines just from country to country. So I happened to be in Australia at that time. And that's when I happened to get, that's why I just called to check in on her, is when we just docked into Australia. And that's when she told me, hey, your son's laying in the bed next to me. Was on patrol, getting ready to go into a compound. Said to be secure and safe. So we were just walking out, getting ready to go in. And that's when I, uh, I took a round of the chest. The pain just kept increasing and increasing in my chest, so I just, I just yelled. I knew something was wrong. Next thing I know, I'm in a, in a hospital in Germany. I made it just in time to get on the helo that was about to take off with blood. So if they would have took off before I came in, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made it. They told me about it, but I was just kind of like in shock. I didn't, I didn't think nothing, because they didn't tell me what exactly happened to him. So I was kind of like, oh, I don't, maybe just a little, maybe little thing happened. Growing up in the country, you, you learn to do everything yourself. You're 100% independent, you go in the Marines, you're completely independent. All of a sudden you get hit to be put in a chair. Now I can't do half the things I wanted to do. I can't go do these things on my own. I couldn't get up without a solid brace. It looked like a big piece of metal here and a big piece of metal on my back so I couldn't crunch. I had to sit literally straight up, as straight as possible, if I wanted to move at all. Even just to sit up in bed, I had to put that thing on. Stuff that was so easy to do, now it's just, I can't do it at all. Actually, JCS got a hold of me. Is uh, They called me one day and wanted to know if they could come down and sit down and have lunch and talk. And I told them, yeah, I'd love to be a part of it. And I told my whole story and we talked back and forth for a little while and it just went on from there. I mean, November 11th of last year, it was a Veterans Appreciation Night at the Jeff City, uh, Jeff City High School. And what they did was they invited me as a special guest just for a, just an Appreciation Night dinner. I'm like, okay, cool, I'll go. They said, well, we want you to wear your blues. All right. Well, next thing I know, limo shows up at my dad's house. We're getting escorted by state troopers. I had, me and her had no clue what was going on. Because originally it was supposed to just be let's raise some money to help retrofit a house that he's already in. Well then, Joe and Kay donated the building lot. Well, that instantly clicked in everybody's head. Well, let's just build a house. And man, this house has made a world of difference. Just the smart technology, the stove tops, the cabinets that raise and lower, just the microwave put in the island in the lower level so I can actually see. Everything can be controlled, controlled just from the TV remote. On the TV, you can control the entire house from your cell phone, iPad, everything. So it's definitely made a huge difference on our lives. It made mine a lot easier. I want to thank JCS for, um, for the support that they have given us. I mean, anything that we've asked for that we really needed, we've gotten. So I'm very glad that we have joined up with JCS and uh, very glad that they got a hold of me. They're definitely a great group of guys.